Well, we're in the kitchen now because we're taking the Live Local KW Challenge. And one of the participants in the challenge, the participating businesses, happens to be in our kitchen. She is the farmer's daughter, yes. better known as Melissa Bear to yes. some, who is coming to cook up a little something for us after a busy weekend. Yeah, it was. Taste Local was great, hey? It was fabulous yesterday, and you were there putting together these delicious little skewers that yeah. had sweet potato, cheese, and tomato. you had tomato, and you Basil. had these little chicken chicken bites. so chicken breaded with uh, quinoa which is really cool because there's going to be a local quinoa available next year they're harvesting right now it's amazing <laughs> and i understand there's a whole you know process between getting that crop to grow yeah. and getting it to market and everything only well, getting seed that's suited to canadian soil and climate exactly yeah. And we can talk about that another time, but you've brought food with you, Melissa. Yes, I have and brought food. And I'm very food. interested in the food right now, so, so let's talk about this. It's September, and um, I have friends who have children who are going to school and trying to get them to eat something that at school that they enjoy. So uh, I was at my friend's house and we were just talking about how do I get vegetables into my kids and I was like, well, just put in the food processor. <laughs> so um, we're, we are working on a spelt pizza, so a spelt pizza okay. crust, and I actually grew up on spelt. Um, we grew spelt on the farm, and so that was back in 1986 when, you know, gluten-free wasn't really prevalent. That was, it's a lower gluten, it's not totally gluten-free. Yeah, and I know some people who have gluten intolerance that spelt works for, others yeah, may not, not so, so you so kind of have to try it That's and right. see yeah. if it works for you or not. Yeah, absolutely, and I mean, there's tons of gluten-free pizza crusts on online, but um, for the most part, we're going to do spelt, and it's grown locally, so. Um, <laughs> Um, so, so this is what it looks like. It almost looks like when I, I see the dough that you've got here, Melissa, uh, like a whole wheat. It's got that that darker oh, very, very color to the, it and a little bit of texture. Yeah, it's got the bran still in it. So okay. that's sort of like the fiber that we always want. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to make it. Um, there's, there's, you know, there, we're going to put the recipe on your website, but um, you want to do, so you can do either um, a combination of just spelt and whole wheat or just, sorry, just spelt or whole wheat and spelt okay. um, to make it a little bit of a different texture. Um, I, we use local honey in, in it. So love honey. From, yeah, raw, unpasteurized too from my farm. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we had a chance to see the apiary that you've got there. You've got all yeah. the little guys and the bees were busy yeah, that's buzzing right. around. So, that and then this is really cool. Um, yeast is made from, um, um, do you know what yeast is made from? I just learned this myself. Testing. Oh, I feel like I'm in, back in school. No, I don't know. <laughs> so it's actually made from, um, it's called uh, sugar, translated, it's sugar um, bacteria, bacteria that grows on sugar. So, and it's the thing, same within beer that makes the, the hoppy, the, uh, sorry, not the hoppy, but the, the flavor. Right. Same with this, it makes it rise, it makes it do really cool stuff. But this is a non-GMO, because um, okay. a lot of sugar is GMO. So this is one of the only brands in Canada sold that's non-GMO. So wow. that's really exciting. Um, the other part of that is, um, the, the salt that you put in there, and you want to use sea salt as much as possible because it's got all minerals in it. And, and that's something that I've learned, that no two salts are alike that's true. when you're putting them on. So there are some salts that are better than others. Well, this is, un, um, I guess, processed. I mean, that it comes straight out of the mine, right? And there's not that, well, they don't take all the minerals out of it and make it super white. It's still got that crazy color in it. And depending where you get it from, Utah's getting pink and Himalayans get pink and green or gray or things like that so um, and this is really cool because Epicure makes this and they're doing it part of the participating in the non-GMO project okay. so a lot of their um, products are listed as uh, like approved non-GMO so oh. very cool stuff that way um, and then of course olive oil um, the one tr trick if you're not making it in the bread maker and there's lots of recipes to make pizza dough in the bread maker is you want to let it rise and then punch it down let it rise again and then work with Good it. Good way to work out your frustration. That's right. <laughs> tough day, is it and it, and the kids the really love it too so you, then you okay. come out with um, come out with a sort of like a it's really just a, a dough and you want to what I do is to make it really like kid size so the idea is we're going to end up with individual packages that you can send with your kids that are and to get oh, them perfect. involved in the little process they're like yeah. oh I want this and that and this and that so you roll it out um, and you make you know we got their handy little roller here well that is the cutest little roller ever by it the is way. it's actually really That's re so cute. <laughs> really fun so I, I made a whole bunch about by, from one batch, I made about 25 different pizzas, and what you do is you just then freeze them, and we'll get show you how to vacuum seal it and freeze it so that you have it what for. A great idea! That you just got them on hand, so it's just a matter of pulling it, yeah, them out and, and doing for, them. Whether up as it's like to. after school or for lunches or whatever, and then you set them all in a row, and then you let them decorate, which is and pick their own toppings so now that you're for sure they're going to eat it right <laughs> well exactly if they've done a little something that's with right. it if they've chosen it they'll eat yeah, it yeah that's right yeah. so the other part of that is the sauce um, 
and this is where the creativity of being a creative mom comes in. Um, we just want to, if you got anything in the in the fridge, so we got sweet, we put Swiss chard in and bok choy. Um, it's time to clean out the fridge, kids. It is. Here that's really what it is. We put broccoli and cauliflower in it and just pureed it all up. But it's nice when you've got those little ends from things. You know, yeah. you've got a little bit of broccoli left. You've got a little bit of this yeah. left. And you know they're going to get in. Those yeah. kids are going to, and they don't even notice it, which is great. So you put it Perfect. in the sauce and a little bit of oregano, and you're good to go. So what have you? you you've, this is that's what's yeah, in there. Yeah. So it's no, this is so I, this is just tomato sauce we made from okay. from like we scratch made it. So you just th throw it in there. Um, this the Swiss chard is actually really good because that's chock full of like nutrients. You can put spinach in there, whatever you can get in the garden. Um, so, and then, okay. so it's again non-GMO project from Epicure, and you just stick it in there. And it's all things that you have to think about when you're looking at, at products and, and thinking about them. And I know in your yeah. blog you go through a lot of these things and discoveries that you come up with because you're right. still finding new things. Oh, and, new and all the time at any time there's innovation in food. It's, there's always going to be more cool stuff happening. So yeah, you get garlic as and that comes locally and it's time. There's a lot of great local garlic. Oh around. yeah, and, and heritage local stuff. So can we run this right now? You run this right now. And we are going to, like in a couple of seconds, we're going to be heading back. We're going to take yeah. a little bit of break. And then we can show people what the finished product yeah. is going to look Magic like. Magic of TV. With these wonderful healthy <laughs> pizzas for your kids' lunches yeah. that they're actually going to eat. Okay, so you run that. Okay, great. We'll be back with more daytime in a moment. Stay with us. Behind us, yeah. Melissa Bear, the farmer's daughter, is here. We're just finishing off yeah. the pizzas that you were doing. So just you know, clear out the fridge like you said before, and uh, ground beef, um, chicken from yesterday, like leftover. Yeah, I'm chicken. noticing this. <laughs> this is just little chicken bites that you had from yesterday. Yeah. That were so chop them up, put them on there, um, and then um, my friend um, kind of puts pizza that she likes versus pizza that her kids like. They don't like basil, but she puts basil on. So, and then the really cool thing is um, to bake them first, and then. To put them in a vacuum sealing pack or even plastic bag, however you do that. But I find this is really easy. You just pop it out and they can put in their lunch, right? So you, that makes about 25 and you've got lunches for, for a while. So you yeah, And you don't have to worry about heating it up once it's cooked because I, I like cold pizza the day after. <laughs> Who doesn't yeah. like it? And it's just, it's, just, it it's, it's, it's like, and they tend to be, you know, the kids like to eat it. Sometimes there's microwaves at school, sometimes there's not, depending on where you go. But it's it's more just that it's nutritious, it's good, they like it, we know they like it. The nice thing is you know exactly what's in it, Absolutely. exactly what's yeah. on it, and it's yeah. going to be good for your kids. We should quickly mention that uh, you're still booking dinners um, yes. with the farmer's daughter. They can come right to the farm yeah. and get the full experience with Next you. Next weekend, actually, is one of our fall open ones, so you're welcome to sign up for that. And 10% um, off for Vibrant Farms for Live Local. So where's my sign? I need that now. I can, I can show it to you now. I my, as a participant, right. I get my 10% off. So uh, for grass-fed organic beef. So come on out. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you. And you can find out more about Melissa on her website. Okay. Thanks. Well, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.